The Truman Delusion is a rare psychiatric disorder in which an individual believes their life is a staged reality show, similar to the plot of the movie The Truman Show. Okay, he's making his turn on the Lancaster Square. The Truman Show is a 1998 satirical science fiction film starring Jim Carrey. The film tells the story of Truman Burbank, a man who is adopted at birth by a studio and is completely unaware that his life is being broadcast live to a global audience as part of a reality TV show. Truman is living in a seemingly idyllic small town environment, but he begins to suspect that something is not right in his world. As he starts to investigate his suspicions, he discovers that his friends and family are all actors, and the town itself is a giant set designed to keep him confined and prevent him from leaving. It has since become a cultural landmark and is often cited as one of the greatest films of the 1990s. Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. While there is no evidence of a real-life Truman Show in which an individual's life is being broadcast without their knowledge or consent, and the concept is highly unlikely due to ethical and legal concerns, there was a reality show that was very similar to The Truman Show. In Japan, there was a reality show called Susunu Denpa Shonen that aired from 1998 to 2002. It followed the struggles of aspiring comedians who were placed in extreme situations and traumatic experiences. One season focused on a comedian, nicknamed by the show's producers, Nasubi, who was challenged to live alone and unclothed in a small apartment with only magazines to survive on until he won a combined 1 million Japanese yen in total from regularly applying to various magazine sweepstakes. The show would broadcast Nasubi's reaction to his isolations and the challenges he faced, making him a celebrity in Japan. The show's producers stripped him of his clothes, food, and any mode of outside communication and nicknamed him Nasubi because the word is Japanese for eggplant and due to his nudity, they had to cover his private parts with an animated egg plant for the television audience. Throughout the show, Nasubi knew he was being recorded, not sure if it would ever actually air or not, but his daily life was actually being live streamed with silly sound effects mocking and making fun of him. Over the course of 15 months, Nasubi spent his life writing letters into sweepstakes where he could win prizes while being taunted and mocked in different ways. The show soon became the most watched series in Japanese history with a total of 17 million viewers each Sunday night. Eventually, Nasubi won enough items to reach his goal, but he was blindfolded and moved to a new location, South Korea, where he had to win enough earnings to get a flight back to Japan. He was placed in yet another secluded apartment and was instructed to enter more sweepstakes. After a bit of a breakdown, he was able to win enough prizes to afford the ticket within a matter of weeks. He was able to fly back home to Japan, but again, he was taken to yet another secluded apartment. In despair, Nasubi began to take off all his clothes without instruction. Suddenly, the walls of the apartment collapsed, revealing a live television studio filled with cheering audience members. The show was criticized for exploiting Nasubi's situation, and the Japanese government investigated the show's production company for violating labor laws. Despite the controversy and government investigations into labor law violations, the show was still popular in Japan and set a precedent for the other reality shows in the country. Nasubi has since spoken out about the psychological impact the show had on his life, stating that he suffered from depression and PTSD as a result. There have been several instances of people experiencing the Truman Delusion, a rare psychiatric disorder in which an individual believes their life is being filmed and broadcasted without their knowledge or consent, similar to the plot of The Truman Show. It's important to note that individuals with the Truman Delusion are experiencing a type of psychosis and should seek professional help to help manage their symptoms. The Truman Show and The Truman Delusion are separate entities and it's important to understand the difference between a fictional story and a mental health disorder. The condition was first described in a 2006 report by Joel Gold and Ian Gold, both psychiatrists based in New York who had encountered several patients who shared similar delusions. And some of these strange beliefs are apparently unique to certain parts of the world. These are called culture-bound syndromes. In India, there are people who believe that if they're bitten by a dog, they can become pregnant with puppies. There are women in Saudi Arabia who believe that they're being buried alive in sand. And there are people in North America, but in lots of other places too, I discovered, who believe that everything in the world is an act. Everything is artificial. It was created for them that their life 
is like the life of the character in the film, The Truman Show. This is a delusion I've worked on. So there are people with very, very strange beliefs, and these beliefs are known, no doubt you've figured it out, as delusions. From their book, Suspicious Mind, they describe the Truman Show delusion as a novel delusion, primarily persecutory in form, in which the patient believes that he is being filmed and that the films are being broadcast for the entertainment of others. We describe a series of patients who presented with the delusional system according to which they were the subjects of something akin to a reality television show that was broadcasting their daily life for the entertainment of others. In 2003, Dr. Joel Gold encountered his first Truman patient. Albert, while working as a psychiatrist at Bellevue Hospital. Others soon followed, including a computer engineer, an MIT professor, and a lawyer, all who believed that their lives were secretly being broadcast. By 2014, Gold had identified over 100 cases. What struck me was how all-encompassing the Truman Show delusion is. While some believe that individuals who seek attention or fear public scrutiny may be more prone to this delusion, the Gold's caution that it is a symptom of psychosis and not a conscious choice. The Truman Show delusion is not a new diagnosis, but a variation on known persecutory and grandiose delusions. Factors such as cultural zeitgeist, personal experiences, and the human brain's suspicion system may contribute to this phenomenon. While treatment options are limited, hospitalization, medication, and close psychiatric supervision may aid in recovery. The Golds conclude that understanding cultural insights into delusions is crucial in comprehending how the Truman Show delusion operates. These patients were convinced that their everyday existence is being monitored and broadcast for the enjoyment of an audience, despite their reluctance of having their life subjected to such scrutiny. Their every moment, movement, and action is exposed for others to witness. The Truman Show delusion can cause significant distress and impair daily functioning, as individuals with this condition may begin to act out in unusual ways to gain attention or prove their theory. Some may even attempt to escape their perceived set or become paranoid that others around them are actors or part of the production. Treatment for the Truman Delusion typically include a combination of therapy and medications such as antipsychotics to help improve symptoms and overall functioning.